Hello, this is Orange Cat here for the first of my two videos today of my double upload. This one will be covering the ratings for Toonami on November 24th of 2018. Overall, it was, I'll say, an okay weekend given that it's Thanksgiving, a travel centric holiday. Let's start with the beginning. Dragon Ball Z Kai of 0.14 this past week, which I guess is kind of average, par for the course for what it's been doing at that slot so far since coming back to the lineup. Then you had My Hero Academia, which only which down, went down to a 0 0.14, which it was disappointing considering that a couple weeks ago is at a 0.2 again, considering, like I said, the issue with the show being it's probably the one show on Adult Swim that Adult Swim cannot profit off the streaming from since it's a full-on Funimation property. So it being in a slot where it's not going to get many viewers just looks kind of baffling. And that showed again this week at a 0.14. Fortunately for it, it did end with 420,000 viewers, which is a pretty nice number, if you know what I mean. Then you have the Naruto Boruto Power Hour, which was not so powerful this week, unfortunately. Naruto doing it at a 0.12, which I believe was, yes, it was the lowest rated, I guess, premiere, even though it's been out for a while. Premiere to the block. Lowest rated premiere to the block, let's say that. And Boruto not doing too much better to 0.13. However, and interestingly enough, it got the same amount of viewers as My Hero Academia at 420,000, which is, again, pretty nice, if you know what I mean. So the Mob Psycho 100 at 0.14. That's kind of par for the course what's been doing lately. Maybe a bit low. And yet, oddly enough, you have a rerun. No, this is not a new episode of Attack on Titan. <laughs> this was a rerun of the first episode of this past season. I don't think we'll get new episodes until, I believe, April. Not 100% on that, but I believe so. They split the season in half. But a 0.16, which considering it's a rerun, is actually a pretty good number. Like, it's probably doing better than what Fully Cooly Alternative could have done, like, middle of the block. And you have JoJo with what's basically a good week for it, a 0.15. It's been languishing near, like, a 0 0.10, 0 0.11 territory for a few weeks. But it's a good number to get at, especially considering that's not had a good go of it since going on to being Diamond is Unbreakable after being Stardust Crusaders. We have Black Clover. Black Clover been a real stronghold for the block recently at a 0.15. It's been one of the stronger ratings performers the past few weeks. Which is kind of bizarre considering it usually, Adult Swim doesn't usually, uh, Adult Swim, Toonami doesn't really usually get amazing ratings that late in the block. Like in the second half of the block, typically. Especially since it's expanded earlier and earlier. You usually don't get that. And they have Hunter x Hunter for, I'll say, a decent week at a 0.13. I believe it's a hundredth or two higher than it was a couple weeks ago. And then you get to the rerun section of the block. You have Alternative at a 0.10. Eh, you can come to expect that. And then Pop Team Epic reprising its role as a ratings depressor for the block. Albeit this time it's doing it later in the block, so not much hubbub about it. A 0 0.07, which was, which for a brief time was the lowest rated, rated Toonami broadcast of all time. Until Loop in the Third Air right after the 0 0.06. I'm pretty sure that's the lowest numbers we've ever seen in Toonami history. However, it's reruns really late in the blocks, so we don't really have many people caring about that. Like, it's not something like My Hair Academia where they threw a lot of money just to put on the air. Particularly considering, like, or like Fully Cooly Alternative, where they had to spend basically half the budget to make it. I mean, you really don't care about those numbers this late in the block. The had Samurai Jack, showing has some of a fan base actually building on Lupin the Third at the very tail end of the block. But, like I said, you should have come to expect kind of low numbers this week, given that it's Thanksgiving, a lot of people are traveling. But it's kind of weird, though, especially the Naruto Boruto Power Hour dropping a lot. Like, you could come to expect, like, oh, My Hero Academia is going to drop a bit. All these other shows are going to drop a hundredth or two. But they really took a hit. Like, they're performing near point two zeros each week, which, considering this day and age, were solid numbers for the block. But, once again, story being Dragon Ball Super is... I, I hate saying it like this, but... It's propping up the block. And it's like, people might be tired of people saying that, but it's a show that brings in ratings. It brings in fans. And there's a lot of people 
that watch Toonami just for Dragon Ball Super. I mean, especially considering that your second highest show this week was a rerun on Attack on Titan, which I'm not even sure got that high a rating when this episode first aired. I think it was maybe, I think it was around that, around a point one six. I mean, maybe this lineup is working with putting an Attack on Titan reruns, especially considering that it's, Attack on Titan has a very devout base that would probably go back week after week just to even watch the reruns of it. So maybe this is a smart schedule, but I would still say try to find a way to push up Black Clover and Hunter x Hunter and find some way to put My Hair Academia in a place where more people will watch it. People are still doing stuff out at 9.30. It's not going to bring in ratings. And if there's one show, like I said, on the block that based on the nature of it, nature of William Street's association of it, you would need to have people watching it on the TV, on TV, it would be My Hair Academia because of the lack of a streaming deal with Adult Swim, or Flame Street, rather. That's really all I have to say about this. Uh, most notable thing off the bat is the fact that My Hair Academia and Boruto ending with 420,000 viewers, which is this beautiful synchronicity right there. Albeit, since My Hair Academia had more of an 18 to 49 viewer base, it got slightly higher ratings, but it's still a nice thing to look at, you know. Which is one of the bright things to look at, considering later in the block you have something like Lupin the Third that only got like 150,000 people watching. But overall, these numbers don't look on the surface to be that pretty. But I don't think it's a cause for alarm in the long term. It's something that I think next week when we're off of a, when we're out of a holiday, back into normal swing of things, I think we'll see a general increase in ratings. Even Dragon Ball Super actually went up 100 this week. That might it might get to a point three next week. I think most of these shows, especially in the front half of the block, will at least go up like three, four hundreds. That's just my prediction. Except Attack on Titan, I think it stays around there. I don't think reruns have that high a ceiling, but nonetheless, that's that's really all I have to say about this week. I am Orange Cat, and that is all.